Hello colleagues, my name is Eleni Costa and I'm a member of the Ethics Review Board of the Tilburg Law School. In this info clip, I'm going to give you a brief overview of main points of the recent uh, general data protection regulation and the impact it has on the data management section of the online application form you need to uh, use in order to apply for ethics clearance. The uh, GDPR, the regulation, will be applicable as of the 25th of May 2018. In this regulation, you can find some basic concepts that you need to be familiar with. Personal data, according to the regulation, means any information relating to an identified or identifiable natural person, which is commonly known as a data subject. Truly anonymous data are not personal data, so if your research deals with truly anonymous data, then you do not need to apply for an ethical clearance. However, if the data that you're processing are pseudonymous data, which is the common case for research, then they remain personal data. Processing according to the regulation is any operation or sets of operations which is performed on personal data. And that includes collection, storing, using, even raising or destructing data. Concepts that are essential for you to know are the concepts of controller and processor. A controller is the natural or legal person, public authority, agency or other body which determines the purposes and the means of the processing of personal data. So in the case of research, it will usually be you, the researcher, who defines the research method and the research design. A processor, on the other hand, is an entity that processes personal data on behalf of the controller. So that can be somebody who is actually providing you with the software to store the data or process further the information you have collected. It is important to remember that when a third party is processing data, even if they are just storing them, then there is a need for a data processing agreement. You can find some further information about this on the online tool and the Tilburg University is going to uh, prepare a white list with providers that are considered to be uh, safe to use. The General Data Protection Regulation contains a list of data, uh, uh, of data protection principles that you need to comply with. These principles are lawfulness, fairness and transparency, so your data need to be collected and processed in a lawful, fair and transparent way. You need to respect the purpose limitation principle, so you need to have a concrete purpose for which you process data. The data minimization principle, you need to collect as few uh, data elements as possible, they need to be accurate and you need to store them for a limited period of time, actually for the period of time that is absolutely necessary for you to reach your purposes and finally you need to do that in a secure way. The controller, this means you as a researcher, has the responsibility and should be able to demonstrate compliance with these principles. In the majority of cases, the researchers will need to obtain the consent of the data subjects, so the interviewees, participants to the survey, etc., and inform them about their data protection rights, such as the right to access their data, to rectify them, to object to the processing of their data, etc. One last point that is important is the fact that the uh, general data protection regulation requires the carrying out of a data protection impact assessment when processing data is likely to result in a high risk to the rights and freedoms of natural persons. The data management plan, which is part of the online application form, includes a pre-DPIA. So researchers, when they fill out all the information that is necessary, they comply with all data management plan and pre-DPIA requirements by completing the relevant parts of the online application form. If you still have any questions, you can always contact us. And meanwhile, good luck.